cook. Hello again, everyone. It's Eugene, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to Eugene Reviews. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, last year, I had the privilege of getting six of these deluxe Funko Pops exclusively from Amazon. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link on the description below. And I thought it was fun doing an unboxing and it was actually pretty satisfying doing those and seeing aesthetically how those Funkos look. So I thought to myself, why stop there? With that in mind, ha! I bet you're probably all wondering the same question. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? box? And no, it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Sorry. What's in the no, but this box contains another one of my uh, Funko treasures, one of my Funko purchases that I've done recently. As far back as maybe February or March, I pre-ordered this Funko Pop that I saw and I thought to myself, this is near and dear to my heart. It's a Funko Pop moment collection and it is a moment from 2003 WWE between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, anyone who knows me knows how avid a fan of WWE and professional wrestling that I am. So for something like this, this is like the creme de la creme for me. A little background on this. So the moment reflects on The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin during their confrontation and rivalry during the spring of 2003. If you've been living under a rock, no pun intended, uh, and you've not seen any big blockbuster Hollywood films, or if you're not a wrestling fan in general, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, The Rock, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, uh, multi-time WWE champion, soon to be Hall of Famer, one of the biggest stars in the late 90s, early 2000s, and still today, a former WWE wrestler, and now a big Hollywood star. And his big rivalry was none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was the top dog, the top superstar, the top man, the ace of WWE during the Attitude Era, late 90s, early 2000s. I mean, he caused a hellacious ruckus everywhere he went. So those two stars of that magnitude had a very extensive and very, very well scripted rivalry throughout their times in WWE. That resulted in three headlining WrestleMania matches in 1999, 2001, and this year that I just mentioned, 2003. So basically it's these two titans of the wrestling world colliding at their prime and it's a moment in time so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this uh i'm very very eager to take a look at this it is a little open but uh, i just did that just to see if there's wrapping inside so i did see there's wrapping now let's take a look and see what the damage is oh Wow, I love it. This is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try to unbox it as slowly as possible. Now I'm trying to be as steady as possible because this is balancing on my knees. Wow, this is pretty extensive and pretty detailed and pretty cool. Um, this isn't your typical Funko moment where it's just two Funko Pops. No, they actually included the ring, which was fascinating to put. Um, yeah, and it's it's really detailed. They actually got aesthetically the attire that both the superstars were wearing at the time during 2003 before their match at WrestleMania. So this is pretty cool to see. Like, I mean, if you can even see behind even like Stone Cold's attire and, and, and shirt, looks looks pretty cool and, and and very detailed this one has the rocks belt buckle too like i didn't think they'd do that even the tattoos the samoan you know the the polynesian uh art and tattoo is even on there so yeah this is cool <laughs> 11 year old me is screaming and ecstatic for joy this is this is really cool to see i do have a passion for wwe as a fan and seeing this kind of unfold really does bring back memories. I do remember watching the whole culmination of this rivalry. I do remember watching the match at WrestleMania 19, uh, 2003 on pay-per-view. Little known fact, it was indeed Stone Cold's last match. Wasn't known to the public yet, only between the two, it was Stone Cold's last match. And The Rock was starting to get 
into his Hollywood career and starting to ascend and become big to a point where, you know, he's not going to be around full time anymore. So uh, it was nice. It was a nice kind of uh, crossroads and a nice ending to a rivalry that honestly is one of the best rivalries in professional wrestling history. The two top stars in one of the biggest eras in wrestling, putting things uh, to a spellbinding end and closing the chapter on the rivalry. I think seeing this, it just, it just makes me think back to that. So I, I just like everything about this. So this is cool. I think this is awesome. Oh God, I gotta stop moving. So, so there you have it. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Funko Pop Moment, WrestleMania 19 season, 2003. Uh, Monday Night Raw ring. I like the fact that it came with the ring too. Uh, this is what you'll see if you decide to get these. This is available um, wherever you can get your hands on Funko Pops, whether it be Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Amazon, at any other retails. Uh, you can buy them online, you can buy them in the store. I'm sure they're available anywhere you can get your hands on Funko Pops. Uh, but if you are a wrestling fan, if you're a Stone Cold fan, The Rock fan, this is a must have. Once again, two of the biggest stars of one of the biggest eras in wrestling in a squared circle like this it's a moment to relish in and just be kind of astounded by and, and feel nostalgic about so uh there you have it this concludes my unboxing for this uh great funko pop uh moment of stone cold steve austin and the rock in 2003 what did you guys think about this do you all have this uh do you like what you see do you think maybe it could have been a bit more detailed I want to know what you think about this. I want you to also give me your quick impressions and your quick memories on Stone Cold Steve Austin or The Rock or anything that happened in 2003 or anything that happened in the Attitude Era. I would love to kind of go back and forth with knowledge and just overall memories of that golden era of wrestling. So leave all your comments in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Eugene Reviews on both social media sites. Hopefully down the road, uh, I can do more of these Funko unboxings. I am currently collecting the Victory Shawarma Amazon exclusives of the Avengers. Kind of like how uh, last year Amazon did the Battle of New York Avengers and the circle uh, moment from that film. This one's the Shawarma version where at the end in the post credit where they all eat shawarma i'm still collecting those i've gotten two right now with one on the way i think in july so i'm halfway there but i'll have something up of that uh hopefully towards the end of the year very soon but if i see something else that i like another funko pop i'll be sure to do another unboxing of these but until then this is another video ending this is another episode of unboxing concluding thank you guys so much for tuning in once again i hope you guys enjoy watching these as much as i enjoy doing these and stay tuned if you haven't uh subscribed yet to my channel subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified on any and all content from eugene reviews as soon as it hits youtube and there you have it this is eugene signing off on this channel and on this video i will see you guys again very very soon with many many more videos to come thank you all for stopping by